Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear teddy bears. Good morning to you. Good morning, teddy bears. How are you doing today? Today is Thursday, May the 7th. Isn't that so funny? It's the month of May. And the last time we talked, it was the month of April. But now we're in the month of May and we're already seven days in. All right, so let's go ahead and do our morning check-in. We're gonna be doing it a little bit differently today because Miss Angela hurt her hip, so I'm sitting down instead of standing up. So, who is this friend? That's right, it's Boaz. And Boaz starts with a letter B. B, B, B. B, B, Boaz. Good job. What friend is this? Caroline. That's right. And Caroline starts with the letter C. C, C, Caroline. C, C, C. Good job. And this friend is Easton. Right. And Easton starts with the letter E. E, E, Easton. Next is Graham, and Graham starts with the letter G. G, G, Graham, G, G, G. Next we have our friend Harper, right? And Harper starts with the letter H. Ha, ha, Harper, ha, ha, H. All right, and this friend also starts with that letter we just talked about. What letter is that? I forgot. H, you're right, and this friend is Harrison. Ha, ha, Harrison. Ha, ha, H. What friend is this? James, and James starts with the letter J. J, J, James. J, J, J. What friend is this? Kaya, and Kaya starts with the letter K. K, K, Kaya, K, K, K. This friend also starts with the letter K. Who is this? Kylie, that's right. And what sound does that letter K make? Do you remember? K, 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 Kylie. Good job. And this is our friend Oaks. And Oaks starts with the letter O, 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 Oaks. And here is our friend Phoebe. Phoebe starts with what letter? P. Good job. P. P. Phoebe. And here is Ruth. And Ruth starts with the letter R. 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 Ruth. R. 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 Now this friend also starts with that letter. What letter was that again? R. And this friend is Regan. So, R, R, Regan, R, R, R. And then we have Shepherd, and Shepherd starts with the letter S, 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 Shepherd. Good job. All right. So now that we're all checked in, let's check our weather for today. So, everybody, stand up. Let's walk to the windows and see what the weather is. And then come back and tell me, okay? So what's the weather outside, friends? Is it cloudy? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? What, what do you think it is? Oh, really? That's nice. I'm excited. Okay. So since we've checked our weather, let's do our ABCs real quick. And it's behind me. And let's just look at it. Ready? I have a pencil. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job. All right, let's see if we can count to 10. All right, let's use our fingers. You ready? One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten fingers. Good job. All right. So we're going to do a little bit of a color review. So we'll start off. And what color shirt is Miss Angela wearing? Red. Yes, I do think it's red. Good job. All right, then we'll look at these. What color is this? Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Like the early morning sun when the day is just begun. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Daffodils and baby ducks are yellow. Lemonade and scrambled eggs are yellow. I like the smiley face that yellow. He is such a happy fellow. Y E L L O W spells yellow. Good job. And then, what color is this? Let's see. I don't. I don't really remember the song to this. I think it's B L U E spells blue. B L U E spells blue. Hi ho, did you? Yeah, no, that's not right. But this is the color blue. B L U E spells blue. All right, next is the color of every time I see this color. You know who I think of? Harrison. Because I know that it's his favorite color. So, Harrison and everybody, what color is this? It's green. G R E E N. What is this? G R E E N. G R E. You know, it helps if you have things. It's G R E E N. That's how you spell green. I know how to spell caterpillars are green and yeah. Nope, that didn't work very well. All right, what color is this one? I know. It's Miss Angela's favorite. And if I remember correctly, it's Ruth's favorite too. Is it purple? And you spell purple P U R P L E, purple, purple, P U R P L E, purple's what that spells. Purple grapes on the vine, purple Kool Aid's vine, P U R P L E, purple's what that spells. It's funny how some songs and the tunes stay in your heads and some don't. All right, we did this one in March, you remember? B-L-A-C-K spells black. B-L-A-C-K spells black. Flying bats are black. Scary cats are black. Jelly beans are black. I like black. B-L-A-C-K spells black. B-L-A-C-K spells black. Sunday shoes are black. Santa's boots are black. B L A C K spells black. And you know, I don't think we actually did this color in class, but we'll talk about it real quick. Does anyone know what color this is? It's brown. There is a color we all know. Can you guess what it is? B R O W N B R O W N B R O W N that's how you spell brown. Teddy bears and squirrels are brown. I'm going into the wrong song apparently. I really want to do Should We Come Around the Mountain. But that's the color brown. Oh, here's a fun one. What color is this? Orange. O R A N G E O R A N G E O R A N G E Orange is what that spells. All right. Next we have, and you know I don't think we did this color either, but this is the color pink. Right. Good job. Let's see what we see here. That's pink. What are these? Pigs. And she's got pink bows in her hair. And what shape is that? Can you see? It's a heart. Good job. And look, what is he blowing? Bubble gum. Do you like bubble gum? I don't like bubble gum very much. All right, and this is 
our color from last month. Do you remember what color it is? White. Correct. W-H-I-T-E. That's not how you, that song goes. But that's how you sit, spell it. W-H-I-T-E. And what, we've got Ghost and Blue and Milk and Santa's Beard and uh, Snowman. Next we have the color. Oh, we don't have any more colors. That's it. All right. Good job, guys. We are done with that. So, let's look at our nursery rhyme for this month. Do y'all remember what it's about? It's about the old lady, right? And the old lady, do you remember where the old lady lives? In a shoe. That's silly. Do, you, do we live in shoes? No. Where do shoes go? On our feet, right? There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth along with some bread, then hugged them all soundly and sent them to bed. What is broth? What is this? Can you see? Right, it's soup. It's clear soup. So she gave them all soup and sent them to bed. Let's count how many children she has. One, two, three, Four, five, five children. But I don't see the shoe. I wish they had drawn the shoe. All right, let's do that again. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth along with some bread and hugged them all soundly and sent them to bed. Good job. All right. Let's do a few little nursery rhymes before we move on from nursery rhymes that we haven't done in a while. I know we had our nursery review um, on Zoom, but let's just do a few here too, okay? You ready? Um, let's start with our very first nursery rhyme which, that we did, which was Humpty Dumpty. So everybody, get in your eggs. Can you, can you pretend you're an egg and curl up? Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh no, poor Humpty. Let's do it one more time. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Oop! All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh, so sad. Uh, let's see. What's another one that we did? Um... Oh, y'all remember Little Miss Muffet? Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a side spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Oh no. Is this Muffet? Miss Muffet. Um, good job. All right, let's see. We also did, we didn't do this one on the Zoom, so let's see if y'all remember it. Jack and Jill went up a hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. Oh no! And Jill came tumbling after. That's so silly. Silly Jill. Uh, let's see. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed ha, 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 to see such a sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Good job. Let's see what else can we do. We'll do one more. Um, oh, I know y'all love this one. Let's do our one, two, three, four, five. You ready? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I threw him back again, or then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? This little finger on the right. Good job. All right, so Sunday is a very special day. It is Mother's Day, and it's a day when we celebrate our um, mamas. And so I have a book, and it's not really about moms, uh, a mom and a, a baby, but it is about a relationship that's like that. 
And it's special because the person chose to be the mama. So this is called Pup and Bear. And it was written by Kate Banks and the um, Naoko Stoop. All right. It's got very pretty pictures if you look at these pictures. So. Whoosh. When the great gray owl swooped down, screeching, hoo, hoo, the Arctic wolves knew that the big freeze was on its way. They took shelter in a snowdrift, and they listened to the fierce wind holler and roar. They watched the snow blow in spirals, wrapping the world in a fluffy white coat. But then the wind's bitter cold breath turned warm, and the sun appeared. The big melt came, and one lone pup found itself on a sheet of ice, spinning out to sea. Oh no, the puppy got separated from his pack. The pup slipped into the water. He swam and he swam. When he reached land, he burrowed into a snowbank. He was tired and he wanted his mother. The little pup closed his eyes and fell asleep, listening to the throb of silence across the landscape. He woke to the feel of a cold nose against his fur. The smell was familiar. It was a polar bear. You are not my mother, said the pup, flattening his ears against his head. I am not your mother, said the polar bear, but I can cuddle you and keep you safe. The pup was shy and frightened. Aren't you going to eat me? He asked. Polar bears eat wolves. Not this one, said the polar bear, shaking her head. Climb on my back and I will take you to my den. The pup stretched a paw forward cautiously, and then he climbed onto the polar bear's back, and they crossed the tundra under the watchful eye of a trio of the baby puffins learning to fly. A trio is three. One, two, three. Back at the den, the polar bear licked and cleaned the pup. I am not your mother, she said, but I can feed you and keep you warm. The next day, they set off across the wintry tundra. When they spotted a walrus with long, sharp tusks, the polar bear bellowed and chuffed. Where are we going? asked the pup as they neared the water. I am not your mother, said the polar bear, but I can show you where to catch fish. They passed a snow goose perched on a nest of eggs. They sniffed the trail of a seal as he tried to outsmart them, and they stopped at the water's edge where the fish and the lemmings came and went in the wondrous wheel of life. The sun shone down on the crisp, crackling snow, and a polar bear rolled in the snow blank. Come on, she said to the pup. I am not your mother, but I can play with you. But when the pup, pup tugged too hard at the polar bear's fur, the bear growled. I am not your mother, she said, but I can scold you. Then she nuzzled the pup and tickled his tummy. Tired at last, the pup curled up against the bear, and they napped, listening to the wind whimper and sigh. The earth turned round and round, and a big freeze came, followed by the big melt, until at last the polar bear nudged the wolf, who wasn't a pup any longer. I am not your mother, she said, but I know it's time for you to go. She nuzzled the wolf one last time, and the wolf nuzzled her back, and then he walked out into the wide world. The wolf howled to the midnight sun, which glowed on the horizon, where day ended and night began and he was answered by the cry of another wolf. Soon he was leading his own pack across the frozen tundra. Then one day the wolf came upon a polar bear cub huddled in a snowdrift. Where's your mother? asked the wolf, but the cub didn't know. The wolf sniffed the cub and rubbed its fur with the wet nose. You are not my mother, said the cub cowering. I am not your mother, said the wolf, but I can cuddle you and keep you warm. Are you going to eat me? asked the cub. Wolves eat polar bears. Not this one, said the wolf, shaking his head. Climb on my back and I will take you to the den. The wolf polar bear clambered onto the wolf's back. I am not your mother, said the wolf, but you can stay with me until you're big enough to be on your own. And the wolf led the pack across the tundra along the path that went round and round in the wondrous wheel of life. The end. And look, here's the polar, a polar bear with his two cups. I just love the, yeah, 
the illustrations or the pictures in this book. I think they're beautiful. Okay, so guys, it's been really fun. We're going to end with a prayer. This is the last video that Miss Angela's going to do for you, but I'm going to see you on Zoom call tomorrow where um, uh, the author that Miss Sarah got for us is going to read. And then um, we'll have that one last Zoom call next week, which I'm really looking forward to. I have loved having y'all in my class. And um, next fall, when you go to Miss Holly's class, be sure to stop by and give me a hug, okay? All right, let's say our prayer. Dear God, thank you for this year with the teddy bears. It may have not ended the way we wanted it to, but thank you for still letting us be able to connect. Please bless and keep them over this summer. Keep them safe. And then when the school opens back in the fall, um, just bless them and um, their time with Miss Holly. I know they're going to, Miss Holly and Miss Sarah, I know that they're going to do great. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. I will see y'all on the Zoom call tomorrow, okay? Bye.